Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. I'm sitting in my car. I'm actually getting ready to go inside. Violet has some work that she's working on, a report that she needs to get done. And I'm going to go inside and help her because it's a bit of a mess and she's having to be the one to clean it up. Well, it's very frustrating for her and I don't want her to have to deal with that. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, welcome to the vlog. I don't know exactly what this vlog is going to be. I'm off tomorrow for the 4th of July and I think I just want to do a quote unquote spend the day with me video, but I'm starting it today so it really won't be just a spend the day with me. But I just sense that tomorrow is going to be an interesting day and I want to record it. And then today I just felt like saying hi. Hubby bought me these visors for my car and he bought me the super jumbo. What were you thinking? I don't have a pickup truck. I have them up. I didn't realize they were super jumbo until, of course, I was like trying to figure out like, why are these so big? Then I read the package and it said super jumbo. Let me show you this outfit I'm wearing. I am wearing a cute little white skirt. I believe this is... I don't know what brand it is. It's old. I've had it forever. And this is, if you recognize this top, this is one of the tops from my dear, sweet coworker, Christy. So, so cute. I decided to throw on some gold earrings. I couldn't find my red ones this morning. I'm wearing my blue slip-ons. These things are so old. I actually think I got these, did I get these at Kato's like years ago? I really do think so. I honestly think I got these at Kato's a hundred years ago. I know they're super old and I've had them forever. Or maybe they came from TJ Maxx. Kato's was a store I used to shop in years ago. I don't really shop in there anymore. But every once in a while, they have some cute little unique shoes. Oh, I used to go in there and get shoes. That's why I'm almost thinking I got these from Kato's. I don't know. They're super old. Okay, let's go in so I can work with Violet a little bit. I'm probably wasting time. She's probably like, if she's going to come in and help me, she needs to get her bum bum in there. But Violet's stubborn. She doesn't like to ask for help. And you almost have to force her to receive help. So I'm going to go in and force her to receive I want to say help. good morning, friends, but it's an afternoon. It's like 12.55. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Today is July 4th. I'm off work. I'm actually sitting in front of the post office. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Take a deep breath. The devil is on my butt today. Like, I... July is going to be a rough month for me. We've already established that. Like, July is not going to be my month. I am going to be full of tears. I'm going to be very emotional because today is my son's birthday, and I'm not there to give him a hug and a kiss. And it's going to be my grandson's birthday, and then it's going to be our annual camping trip. I'm going to miss all that. I'm already feeling some type of way. Hi, welcome to the vlog. I don't know if part that I did yesterday is going to be in this vlog and that so I'm going to welcome you out to the vlog again just in case welcome to a day in my life where I have just decided to not to let the devil ruin my day okay I am not gonna let the devil ruin my day because he's on my he's on my he's on my coattail like he's after me big time and I'm like why what why why won't you just leave me alone <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's just rewind my morning. Woke up. <coughs> Thought process was, okay, sit on the patio, have your coffee, do your thing. It's, it's the middle of the week and you're off, you know, have a chilled moment. Did that. It was great. I literally had to force myself to get out of my house today. Put on these clothing. Let me show y'all. I don't know what you can see. I have on my little express mini skirt that's probably... 20 some years old it's always been another one of those items that can be too big or fit and right now it's fitting and i'd rather it to be too big but it's okay we're gonna roll with that finally just pushed myself out of the house said you know what get out go do the things you wanted to do it's so much later than what i wanted to get started with this beautiful day i'm driving here I am literally almost to the post office. The post office is within a couple hundred feet from where I am. Something says, do you have your post office box keys? And I'm like, I changed purses, which means I probably don't. So I pull over because I'm thinking, let me just check because I'm hoping they're in my little makeup bag, which is where I have been putting them because I hadn't been the smart person to put them on my keychain yet, but they weren't there. So I drove all the way back to the apartment. I am searching high and low all through my bag. I'm just 
freaking out now because where are my keys? I'm going to have to buy new post office box keys. I have a package in my post office box that a brand that I'm going to be working with can't find my keys. I go back downstairs. I'm literally searching in my car because I'm thinking, okay, the last time I was at my post office box, I got another box from a brand. I have a hands full of stuff. Maybe I, the keys fell down in my seat cushion and eh, they weren't there. I mean, I'm like literally searching and a nice lady in the apartment complex said hi to me. She was really sweet. I really want to go back and be like, hey, can we be friends? <laughs> you want to be my friend? <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, I go back upstairs now. I am researching in my bag. I, at this point, I'm just about ready to cry because I'm literally holding back emotions today because like I said, it's my son's birthday and I'm not able to give him a hug and a kiss. And then something says, what did you have on the day that you came to the mailbox? And I remember I had on my Levi jean shorts. The keys were in the pocket. If I don't wear something for a long period of time, I won't wash it. Get to the post office. How do I have this? Why? <laughs> I have a receipt that tells me I have to go to the desk to pick up my package, but it's a holiday. The desk is closed. Now I have to wait until Saturday, which means now Saturday, I have to be at this post office between 11 and 1 because I got these weird hours. Oh, and did I tell y'all, I tried calling my baby because I just wanted to hear his voice and he didn't answer. I know today's a hectic day for him. They really, really do a lot of family stuff. I know they're probably pretty busy. I probably should have called him a little bit earlier, but I wanted to respect his morning and I didn't want to wake him up this morning in case he slept in for his birthday. Anywho, let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do. I'm going to go by UPS and see if they're open today. I did discuss with y'all that some of my clothes were fitting me a little tight. I've had Old Navy shorts for literally 100 years, and they're all tight. And I'm really disturbed by that. I'm very disturbed by that. And then I talked to a friend of mine who shared her weight with me. I'm so proud of her. She has lost a lot of weight. And that just made me just go, oh, what am I doing with my life? Oh, I'm just, you know, it's all good, y'all. I am, you know, I am, I'm persevering. God is good. God's got me. The devil may be riding me, but God's got me. So I'm not even going to worry about it. We're going to go over here. If I can get this package mailed off back to Amazon, and that's another whole story. We'll talk about that later because I've been seven minutes ranting and raving about what kind of a day I'm having. And you guys don't want to hear all of this, I'm sure. I just left Old Navy. I walked into Aeropostale. I was actually going to go to North Myrtle Beach today. But because of the kind of day that I was having, I got started so late. I thought, you know what? Let's not do that. Because honestly, I think I'm going to meet my husband at some point or another today at the Tin Roof. I don't know if they have happy hour, but I think like meet him with some of the crew from the J-O-B and we're gonna hang out a little bit. I'm about to do something completely crazy, completely crazy. I'm insane. So I got my white top dirty. I was trying on clothes in Old Navy. Let's pull up right over here. Okay, so I got my white top dirty of course i'm not even happy with what i have on today anyway because i'm feeling some type of way i did buy a few things in old navy which i guess i could do a little haul for y'all at some point but i'm going to switch my top <laughs> while i'm sitting here in this parking lot i'm gonna get everything ready this is just a plain old red t-shirt it's red it's the fourth of july we're gonna be watching the fireworks later on. If anybody come pull up right next to me, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> we gonna switch clothes real quick. Having an OG moment. I am sitting in, actually I'm sitting in Pop Chef's parking lot because I was getting ready to go in there. Y'all know I changed my clothes in my car when I was over at the mall. But little did I know, they left a center on my shorts. So I stopped at Chick-fil-A, grabbed me a salad to eat in my car like OG times. And I looked down at a center on my shorts. Look at this mess. Look, look. Tell me why I didn't see that. I'm telling y'all the devil is on my back today. 
he is on my back. I don't know why, like what is wrong? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so hungry. Just stop and eat your salad. Calm down, relax a minute. Because I gotta change back into my skirt. We'll go into the store and have them to take the sensors off. And I'm actually curious to see if I have sensors on the other pair that I bought. Just gonna have an OG moment. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna have our salad. Those who know, know. Back in the day when I worked at the one company that I worked at in between going to the university and my career job, I would literally, okay, tell me why this guy is gonna pull right up next to me right here. <laughs> Just the kind of a day that I'm having. Mission accomplished. Got the center taken off of my pretty blue shorts. And we're just gonna change clothes right here. Seriously, I know I shouldn't be doing this. I might be insane. It might be the craziest thing I've ever done. Cause I am not one of those people that will take crazy chances. I don't know what's possessing me to do what I'm doing today. I think I'm just trying to prove that I'm going to have a good day in spite of everything that's going on. Sally was good by the way. I'm taking the things that are happening to me and I'm thanking God for the beauty that I'm finding in between. I found out where Pop Shelf is, which is so exciting to me because there was one right down the street from my house in San Antonio and I used to love to go in there. Then I feel like even driving back, I've learned my way around here a little bit better. Like I feel like I know a little bit more about where I am. That's a plus. You couldn't just have everything go perfect, right? Look at this. This skirt is probably 30 years old. It is an express skirt and if you look at this tag it's gonna tell the story if you know you know this is an oldie but goodie like I love the skirt but now I think I'm gonna have to retire it I was getting out of my car just now to go exchange or not exchange but get the center off my pants and, <laughs> and I went to pull my skirt down and I felt it rip and I said oh my god where did it rip at I go to use the restroom because drinking this lemonade I had to go to the restroom and I realized it's like literally right at the side where you can see my panties and everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now. Maybe I'll put a little patch or something on there. Cause this skirt's like an OG. Like I don't want to get rid of it. I seriously love the skirt. I do. So anyway, we'll figure that out. We're gonna go to TJ Maxx now, okay? <laughs> I think, anyway. But the good news is, is I think I can go there without even using the GPS. Hmm. <sighs> I can't make this up, cannot make this up. So I called my husband, I was at TJ Maxx, went back, got the sensors off my shorts, put my shorts back on, did all that, all those things, right? Went to Top Shelf, you know what? There was a part of me that wasn't gonna go. That would mean that I'm letting the devil win. Did that, had a great time, bought a few things. I'm gonna do a haul when I get back home at some point or another. Went to TJ Maxx, enjoyed walking around in there. I called my husband and said, hey, where are you? Be just in case we're gonna meet up, I don't wanna drive all the way back home. I have the code to park into their garage where he works. Put the code in and it's not working. He is now leaving and he's coming to meet me at the garage so that he can use his pass so that he can let me into the garage. <laughs> Parking down here is something fierce right now. It is the 4th of July celebration. It's a beautiful day. God is good. I am blessed. I am not letting nothing keep me from smiling today. I'm going to smile because I know inadvertently everything is coming at me to make me have a really bad day. And I'm just not going to. I'm just taking everything with a grain of salt. My ex-husband just texted me. <laughs> Nah, he texts me. We're honoring our son's birthday today. We have a son that just turned 37 today. That was nice of him to text me. I haven't read the text, but I'm usually the one that do that. I will text him things like, it's our son's birthday today. 
you know, X amount of years ago, we gave birth to this beautiful bouncing baby boy, blah, 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 blah. Because I'm all about peace and love and not letting things get us down. I didn't text him today, which is surprising because I typically normally do that. But I guess I just have had such a day that it hadn't even dawned on me that I hadn't texted him. It is the next day. As you can see from the footage, once I got to the beach, I didn't have time to properly close out my vlog. I wanted to end this vlog in a special way because of the whole chaos, the chaoticness. Y'all know I make up my words, the whole chaoticness of everything that happened to me. Now I'm going to say yesterday because it was yesterday and how I refuse to allow all the little small incidences that were happening to me to escalate myself into a frizzy. At the very end of the day, which before I got to the actual beach, I met my husband. We went to, and I can't think of the name of the place right now, um, but we went, he was having a cocktail. I had a snack. I showed some pictures of the beach, which was super crowded because of course it was the 4th of July. I'd seen something that I'd never seen before. I'd never been on the beach like that for the 4th of July. So it was quite different and quite exciting to me, actually. I want to share a small bit of how everything I went through, went through during the day yesterday, I realized that God gave me a gift. I was feeling sad because... I wasn't able to give my son a hug and a kiss. God placed me in a place where I was able to make a difference in another young man's life. It actually brought tears to my eye. We were sitting there and there were these young men, they were all 28 actually, and one of them, believe it or not, his birthday was yesterday as well. So there I was in the presence of three young men, 28 years old, me and my husband are sitting there, one of them was having a birthday. Okay, God, you are definitely talking to me right now. We got to talking. Just, they were acting silly. They were having a good time. They were being 28-year-olds, which is totally fine. Then we got to talking, and the one young man, I, I think his name was either Mitch or Mitchell. That was airdropping him the pictures that I had taken of them having their little fun that they wanted me to take a picture of. One thing led into another. And I realized that this was a young man. There had been some obstacles in his family life, in his life. Maybe him a little bit personally. He had a sibling that was going through some things. And we talked about how he felt the need to be more supportive. Or he should have been more supportive when he was. they were younger. And he was feeling somewhat guilty. It was almost like a mom-to-son conversation. But I wasn't the mom. And so I could give a different perspective. Because sometimes... When you're young and even when you're older and you're dealing with your kids, it's really hard sometimes for a parent and a child to have a conversation because you can't get past the fact that you're the mom or you're the dad and they're the child. And they can't get past the fact that they're the child and you're the mom or the dad. So you block, in a sense, the wisdom that's coming from that direction. So there I was in a place where there was this young man and we chatted a lot. And I'm not going to get into what we chatted about because that's very personal. 
it was the most satisfying conversation that I've had with anybody in a very long time. It reminded me of the conversations that I've had with my son over the years. Some people call it be your child's best friend. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's bad. I fell in between. Like I was my son's friend in the sense that I wanted him to have a safe place to come to. But by the same token, that boy never, never, ever for one moment didn't remember that I was his mother. Okay. <laughs> So I, I pride myself in being able to make that, that difference in his life. What I was able to do, be his ear, be his sounding board, and to give him, most importantly, and I could cry saying this, but most importantly, give him a hug. In fact, we hugged twice. And when I watched him tear up, I realized that everything that I had gone through yesterday was so minor. God allowed me to make a significance in another young man's life. It made my day to be able to put my arms around someone that needed a hug and let them know that they are, that everything's gonna be all right. In time, things will figure it out. His sibling will figure things out. Things will be okay. I know this was a very strange, chaotic video. But this was a typical day in my life. It turned out to be a chaotic video, but in the end, I had a beautiful day. And so if you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Thank you for allowing me to come into your life, come into your home. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Turn on the notifications, hit the thumbs up button. And if you are a returning subscriber, you already know the love I feel for you. Bye-bye.